Okay, thiols. These are organic compounds with a sulfhydryl group. Sulfhydryl is the SH, and this is the functional group for thiols. The uh, older term for thiols is mercaptans. This means mercury capturing. So mercaptans. All organic compounds under thiol will have a suffix thiol to indicate that there are it is bearing the sulfhydryl group. Okay, so the general formula for thiols is RSH. R is represents the series of carbon atom and the functional group SH is the sulfhydryl. Okay. So for the nomenclature, we have common names for thiols. So we are making use of the mercaptan term as part of its name. And for the IUPAC naming, you have to select the longest carbon that contains the sulfhydryl. And that would be the parent chain. And then you have to add the suffix thiol to the name of the parent chain. And the numbering system should always give the lowest number for the carbon atom bearing the sulfhydryl. So let's have an example here. So this is a thiol. It, this has a series of carbon atom and a functional group SH. For the IUPAC, you have to choose the name of the parent chain. So this is having two carbon atoms with a single bond there. So therefore, that is ethane. And then you have to so add the suffix thiol. So therefore, overall, the IUPAC name is ethane thiol. For the common name, this one will have this part is ethyl, so name the na name, list or rather list the name of the substituents or the alkyl groups attached on the sulfur. So this is ethyl and then add the word mercaptan. So ethyl thiol and ethyl mercaptan are just syn synonyms. Next example is this one. So this is the sulfhydryl. It is attached on this carbon atom. So we have to choose... The continuous chain of carbon atom as a parent chain and still bearing the carbon atom that bears the sulfhydryl. So therefore, it, the parent chain is three carbon atoms. So that is propane plus the word thiol. Take note that we are putting a 2 to indicate the position of the sulfhydryl. It is attached on carbon number 2. Just to distinguish. Okay, so this is... A 2 propane thiol, the sulfhydryl is attached on carbon number 2. This is also a propane thiol, but the sulfhydryl is attached on carbon number 1. So it is very important to indicate the locator of or the position of the sulfhydryl because uh, two different carbon atoms or two different organic compounds with the same parent chain could have. Uh, could bear different compounds just because of the position of the sulfhydryl. So these two are two different compounds, meaning they are two different properties. Okay, And the common name for 2-propentyl is isopropyl mercaptant. It is an isopropyl mercaptant because this structure is isopropyl. Okay, so... Do not forget the suffix or the, yes, the suffix mercaptan for the common name. While as one propane thiol will have a common name of a plain propyl mercaptan because this three carbon atom is known as propyl. The difference between isopropyl and propyl is that for propyl, the substituent should be at least attached on the end on this edge of carbon atoms while as for isopropyl all the substituents being attached is on the middle carbon atom okay nevertheless these are examples of thiols okay another example so this is the sulfur this is attached on this carbon atom so take note this carbon atom should be included in the parent chain so we have to look for the longest chain so i could pick this one it's still three carbon atoms so that is propane plus the suffix thiol 
Disulfhydryl is attached on this carbon number 1, so therefore that is 1 propane thiol. What is not included in 1 propane thiol is this substituent, and the identity is methyl, and it is attached on carbon number 2. So therefore, completing the name, that would be 2 methyl, 1 propane thiol. And of course, the common name here is the isobutyl. The totality of this 4 carbon atom is isobutyl and plus the word mercaptan. Okay, another example. So this is a butane, one butane thiol. So this is the butane and the sulfhydryl should adopt the thiol suffix. The one is the locate, the locant for the sulfhydryl being attached on carbon number one. Again, you have it is very important to do to denote the position one on this structure because pwede rin na nasa 2 pwede rin na 2 butane thiol and just to differentiate the two structure 1 butane thiol from 2 butane thiol it is very important to use the locator the common name for this is butyl mercaptan so the name first of the alkyl plus the word mercaptan okay so in case of Diols and thiols, the E ending is also retained. So as you can see, we are not dropping the E from the parent chain's alkene name so as so that it would nice it would sound nice. Okay. Okay, another group of organic compounds that contain sulfur is the thioester. So thioester is a sulfur containing analog of an ester. Remember that esters are compounds with rc double bond o okay esters again is rc double bond o o r but this time for thioester the oxygen has been replaced with a sulfur okay so or the or is replaced by an sr okay so thioester is rc double bond o sr okay Thioesters can be prepared by the reaction of carboxylic acid and ethyl. So the, hy the hydroxyl of the carboxylic acid and the hydrogen from the thiol will combine to produce water. And with this free bond, okay, free bond from the carboxylic acid and free bond from the thiol will now form the thioester. Still, this is the R, this is the C double bond O, that's the S, and that is the R. Okay. So that is the structure of thioester. How to name this? So you just have to adopt just like one, the one we did in, in esters. So you have to name first the alkyl part being attached on the sulfur that is methyl. And then this is butanoate. However, with the presence of sulfur there, there, we are going to add thio. So that is methyl thiobutanoate. This butanoate came from the parent chain butanoic acid. It has four carbon atoms, but we are dropping the IC acid and we are adding ATE. So that makes it butanoate. But remember to put the thio to denote that there is the sulfur. Okay. So, methyl thiobutanoate is having a common name methyl thiobutyrate. Because butanoate will have, or the but butanoic acid here has a common name of butyric acid. So, still, butyric acid, drop the IC acid and add the ATE. So that is butyrate. This methyl thiobutanoate is used as an artificial flavoring as it generates the uh, strawberry flavor or taste. Okay. Another sulfur containing compound is the thioether. Remember that ether is an organic compound with ROR. That's the ether. But with thioether, the oxygen will be replaced with S or sulfur. So therefore, 
cryo ether is RSR. Okay. Naming it, you have to the common name, name the alkyl groups attached on the sulfur plus the word sulfide. So this is dimethyl sulfide. This is methyl, this is phenyl as a substituent. So this would be methyl phenyl sulfide. So in the common name, meron siyang sulfide na term. For the IUPAC, choose the parent chain. So that is the parent chain. It is a methane, but with the sulfur, it would be thiomethane. What is not included in the thiomethane is the alkyl group methyl, and that would be, so therefore that would be named as methyl thiomethane. Okay, so still here the parent chain is a benzene group with the sulfur that is thiobenzene. And what is not included is the methyl, therefore that is methyl thiobenzene.